<laughs> Hello, how are you guys doing? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Libby. It's nice to have you. So I'm not doing too much today, but I did want to continue my vlog because I have a couple of things that I'm doing. I don't know why my voice sounds so raspy right now. Interesting. But I'm just drinking my greens, my Alani New Greens. I know a lot of people are like, do you actually like those? Yes, I slurp these down like it's my job. Um, I've tried like every greens on the market, I swear. And I just prefer Alani's. Even before I was an athlete with them, I purchased their greens. They are just like, they have this little bit of sweetness to them that I really enjoy. A lot of other greens, obviously it's greens. It's not gonna taste delicious. It's sometimes they taste like grass and I'm really not down with that. So like the subtle sweetness of the Alani greens is delicious. And I know a lot of people end up putting their greens into like orange juice or apple juice or just putting it with like another green drink that has more flavor to it. But if you guys do wanna try out Alani, Code Libby, I'm telling you guys probably know this by now, like the back of your hand, but I have this box over here, this cardboard box, and it's full of 50 pounds of clay. I ordered a pottery wheel because I mentioned this in my last video. I'm really a creative person and I know like in quarantine, we're still in quarantine, but with this second wave that I think is coming, I wanna make sure I'm occupied. So I think I'm gonna try to do like some type of home gym as well in case the gyms do close. But I also got a pottery wheel. So I got a throwing wheel and when I was in high school, I absolutely loved my art classes and they actually had to create a class for me to take because I took every single art class that they offered. So they changed this one and it was called Special Projects. And I really had this like fascination with ceramics and kinds of tool work and stuff like that. So I really have always had this passion for throwing and ceramics and all that like good artsy stuff. I'm really a texture person as well. But I was like, listen, I'm just gonna get a pottery wheel because I wanna revisit that passion of mine. So I think I'm gonna keep this in the, the, the basement downstairs because it's unfinished and it's concrete anyway. So I'm really excited because I got my clay today and I also had my wheel delivered yesterday. I'll show you that real quick. It's super small and it's like a beginner wheel, but I figured I might as well give it a try and see what I think of it. But I'm very excited about it. So this is my wheel, she's so cute. It's like a beginner wheel, but I wanted to get it so I could just like get back into it. I don't think I need a really expensive one. I looked at some reviews on this. So I'll let you guys know what I think of it. I haven't thrown since I was in high school, but let me turn it for you so you can see. If you're not familiar with like pottery or throwing, you probably will be very lost with what I'm saying, but I'm gonna explain it a little bit anyway. So this doesn't come with a bat on it, but a bat is basically just like a piece that you sit on top of here that you're able to take your pieces off with. I'm just going to go ahead and get like a ceramic tile and put that on here on top of a little bit of clay and throw on that. But let me turn her on for you. When you get this, it's really simple. So you just turn it on, she's on, and then you can throw reverse or forward. This is your foot pedal and it's also got the lever on here. She has a good amount of speed to her, okay? and then you just turn it off. You guys will probably see some time lapses or something from me on Instagram because I'm just really freaking excited. Such a weird purchase. I feel like a lot of people obviously follow me for fitness stuff, but this is another passion or hobby of mine that I'm excited to share with you guys. Hello all, it is currently Saturday and today is the day that our couch gets delivered. It actually gets delivered in about 10 minutes. Well, in the time frame between 9.30 and 10.30, and it's like 9.20 right now. And I'm just upstairs trying to find an outfit. This is going to be my next project. I have my closet somewhat organized in there. It has all of my Gymshark tops, not all of them, but a good amount of my Gymshark tops. And then I'm going to put my black ones in there because those are downstairs right now. But these are like my leggings and bottoms that were in boxes and I dumped it out. You guys probably saw my reel of that so I can reorganize everything because I put my dresser in that closet there so then I can actually like choose what I want to have in there. But I'm just finding an outfit today and I'm really excited for my couch to get delivered along with my coffee table. And then I also just got a call from Crate and Barrel last night that my lamp for the living room is ready to be picked up and then my stocking should get here. I think that they ship out like the first week of December, which is fine, we obviously have time. But it's gonna be a chill day, but I do have some things that I need to pick up that I've kind of been procrastinating, just like my sliding trash can and I need to get curtains. You guys are probably like, does she just like sit there with the lights on at night? Yeah, I have been, which is kind of scary, but it's also like, it's pretty private around here. So I do need to get some 
curtains for these larger windows. I just have to measure it, but I'm just trying to like not spend as much money because obviously moving here did cost a good amount, but it was nothing I wasn't prepared for. I knew what I was getting myself into. So now that I've got all of my bigger staple pieces, I want to kind of slow it down, take a second to get all of my other things, but I am going to get all of my necessities pretty soon. And then we will start with like decor and everything. I am watching Keeping Up With The Kardashians. Since I have Hulu on this TV, I'll literally just sit here in the kitchen, do some things, clean up, and then have that in the background. I don't know why I love that show. This is my outfit, so this is the little crop top jacket hoodie from Urban. It's called the Yogi Yogi hoodie or something like that. It's just so cute. Like, I just love it so much. So I have it in four colors, as you guys know, and then I have the Legacy Sports bra on, and then I just have the lightweight, seamless, leggings on these are some of my absolute favorite leggings i feel like you guys know that if you've been following me for quite some time it's kind of a grout fit but it's also not too much of a grout fit the couch is gonna go right over here i think that i do want to keep these chairs over on this side just because if i have one side of the couch it might like block off that entire area so i feel like this kind of opens it up a little bit having this space between these chairs and then the couch is a big l so it'll be on that entire wall and then up here on this long part as well. So I'm really excited for it to come, and my coffee table will be in the center. And then I think I'm gonna end up putting my lamp probably right here, and then just run it under the rug to that outlet over there. Then our tree is gonna go in that back corner, and then I am wanting to get an entryway table, of course, and then I also wanna get one for behind the couch. I've looked, and I just haven't seen one that I'm obsessed with yet, so. We're gonna wait until I find one that's perfect. I'm ready for these people to get here. I've waited like 10 days for this couch to get here. As I was filming that clip, I got a text and they said that they should reach me in approximately 15 minutes. So I'm really excited about that. Let's go. I'm gonna eat a little bit of food. Bronx is over there eating his breakfast right now. And then I'm watching Mason today for a couple of hours just to help my sister out because she's like switching stuff around with work. So Mason will be here for a little bit. Um, and then I just want to do some content today get some things approved It'll be another chill day like my life is very very chill you guys will notice and you'll probably get bored from my vlogs But it's fun to actually document it and I want to be able to look back on these times because this is a big moment for us But I'm gonna eat some food now Utterly obsessed once I can show you guys like the material of it. It's a performance material the color Oh my gosh my biggest like adult purchase, but I think it's the one I'm most happy with <laughs> She's here I have to adjust it here and my table okay so basically this table is really cool because it's one of those pieces of wood one of those rings of a tree and every single piece is unique and it's organic and you can't find two of the same pieces so the one that I actually like looked at to purchase this doesn't look like this but it's just as beautiful I think I like mine a little bit more to be honest <gasps> It's huge. It's literally massive. I am so excited. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Okay, this is my couch. No, never in my life, never in my life did I think I would have a couch this large and this, like, light and white. But it is a performance fabric, like I said, which I'm really excited about. This just tied the whole place together. Like I said, I won't be keeping these pillows. I mean, they are nice. I don't know. I'm probably going to get different pillows. I have to adjust the cushions. But, oh my gosh. Like, this is my couch. I don't think anybody else in their life is probably as excited as I am. And this is my coffee table. Ooh, she's chilly. Oh, she's cold. It's so beautiful. So beautiful and big. Oh my gosh. I can't take it. I can't take it. It literally looks like a living room. No. I have to adjust it and oh my gosh, but look at it. You guys, I'm so excited about this. That's gonna be where the lamp will go, probably with like 
a little side table or something like that, but stop. I'm obsessed. I can't take it anymore. These orange lights gotta go. <gasps> Welcome to my living room. My tree is gonna be up over there. I can't take it, I'm so excited. So basically, I am in love. It's so cozy over there. Bronx is living it up. I don't know, I feel like I'm going to change the pillows. I like the brown, but I don't love the pattern on them. So maybe I'll just get some pillow covers. But it's like so cozy. It's just so cozy over there. I love the table. It's so unique and it's like one of a kind. Obsessed with it. Got my little fire on. That box back there is annoying me. I'm thinking that I'll move the couch like back just a little bit because it feels a little bit crowded up to like the mantle and everything. But I'm in love. <gasps> Let me know what you guys think. I'm gonna show you because I'm in love with this fabric. It feels a little bit like suede kind of velvet, but it's really easy to clean off, especially having Bronx. I don't think I'm gonna let him on the couch, unfortunately, for him, but I just don't wanna risk that getting more dirty than it should. But he's loving the area. He's a big fan of that whole space, and I'm obsessed with the textures because I have the Sherpa chairs and then the legs of the chairs match the hardwood. And then I have my poofs, which are like a cable knit type weave, wefted weave thing going on. And then the table itself, oh, it's just so unique. We moved it back just a little bit and now we're all testing it out and chilling. I got it from Tula, they sent it to me as a house for me. She's vibey and light. And you can see JJ is 6'3", 300 something pounds. And this man has so much space on that couch. Shaq's in the chair, perfect size. 10 out of 10. Bronx is drinking his water, slurping it on up. The table's perfect. I'm here with Ms. Mason. Yes, Ms. Mason. I love you. She has her two little teeth coming in, but I'm watching her for just a couple of hours. Just because I'm a helpful TT and I love seeing her. And she's. <laughs> I love you. Look at that pretty girl. Pretty. Oh, you're so beautiful, Mace. She is loving the couch. She loves touching all of the, the textures of everything over there. But we're just going to hang out for a little bit and have some fun. Yeah, we are, right? Of course, of course we are. She is going to be a year old on Christmas day and I can't believe it. Like I remember last year, the day after Christmas, I drove to Oklahoma because my sister had had her 10 days early and it was the greatest time ever because I got to see this little sweet pea grow up. Yes, yes I did. She's my best friend and we love each other so much. And she's, she loves, yeah, my mouth. She loves to visit and she likes to hang out and play with Bronx. We will talk to you guys in just a little bit. We have a lot going on right now. We went to go pick up my lamp. Tyra's right here. And now I bought a few more things from Home Goods. I got like a huge big bench that I have at the entryway right now just because I wanted a entryway table, but I couldn't find one and I thought a bench would be a good idea. So now I have my lamp and we're going to set her up. She's gonna go right kind of where she's at. And then we'll see how things look, I suppose. This little guy is adjustable, so it could be low, but I have it at the highest right now. But she's so cute. You have to like redirect it a little bit. Yeah. This and where we put this. You should be like your table. Yeah. True. I love it. I think she's beautiful. Yes! So Mason and I just woke up from a nap. It's the next day. Um, and I'm watching her today again. We're gonna make some pancakes for Uncle JJ. Aren't we? Yes, we are. Got the spatula? Spatula. Yeah, I got the spatula. Titi's hair is crazy. Got the spatula. Okay, stand up. So cute. We're both kind of tie-dye today. Oh my gosh. Look at her. 
good is it? So good. So good. <laughs>